everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and this is a chit chat, chit -chat get ready with me where I answer your guys' questions and just like chat to you guys a little bit and this is a collab with Jordan Teresa I will link her channel down below, we've been friends since forever and I really love her videos and her content is amazing so you guys should check her out after you watch this video will be linked down below but yeah, this is just like a basic look with like an orangey red smoky eye and a really dark lip and just some faux freckles. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe down below. And if you are already subscribed, please click the bell button so you won't miss a single video and you will be in the early squad. So yeah, I will see you in my video. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is using my Slay All Day Setting Spray and this is from Gerard Cosmetics. You will have seen this in my birthday haul so yeah. I'm just going to spray this all over and I have moisturised my face but yeah. It does kind of sting my eyes which is like the only reason why I don't like it but it feels really fresh on my skin. And I feel like I'm going to be blinded by my studio light. It's a really dull day outside which is why I have like two studio lights and a window. I actually need another studio light but... So I asked you guys to leave me topics on Instagram about what to talk about and also like questions because this is, as I said, a chit chat get ready with me. And I look like absolute shite guys. I'm so sorry. My hair looks horrible. I haven't even brushed it today. Wow, I love my life as a YouTuber. I kind of just want it out of my face, but then I look like a rat. Now I'm going in with my Kat Von D concealer and I'm just going to apply this every... And I'm not going to apply it everywhere, but to the places where I need it. Isabella said, feelings on new scam season and it being the last season. Well, I haven't watched it yet. I don't know if it's out yet, uh, but I'm really happy that it's about Sana because that was like one of the people that I wanted it to be about because I just think she's really interesting and yeah. And my thoughts on it being the last season is it's really sad. I don't understand why they're not going to do another season when it's going so good for them because they could do like a whole season about Vilda or about like anyone. Have you always lived in Sweden your whole life? Answer to that is no. If, you were, if you've were, if you been with me for a long time, you'll know that I used to live in England. I lived in England from when I was two to when I was like eight or seven. And then we moved to Sweden. And so yeah, I've lived in Sweden since 2007. And then obviously two years when I was born, but I don't know if that counts. I guess it does, but <laughs> now I'm going to be going in with my NYX powder. And I don't really like this powder because it dries out my face. It leaves like white marks, which is super annoying. I'm just gonna like dip it in the pot here. <laughs> I'm so annoyed I don't have a table next to me because then I could like put stuff on it, but I have to like reach down to the floor to get my makeup. I'm really stressed about this video because this is supposed to be a video, a collab with Jordan, and she's uploading it today, Wednesday, when I'm filming it. And these videos normally turn out to be like 40 minutes which means I have to edit a 40 minute video. And yesterday I edited a 40 minute video, my festival makeup, because I want to get up before Friday, because Friday is Coachella, and a lot of you guys are probably going there, I don't know, but I really wanted to get it up before then. And I edited it, it was all done, and then iMovie like freaks out on me and can't export it because I've had, I import it from my cart like directly to iMovie and then edited off that. So two of the clips, which was the intro and the end of the video got destroyed so I'm gonna have to re-edit those which sucks. I'm so stressed. I know I shouldn't be stressed but I just really want to get those videos up for you. And obviously this video I'm gonna try and get up today because Jordan's uploading it today. So this will be an actual get ready with me on the day you're seeing this if I do upload this Wednesday the 12th. Now I'm using my Bahama Mama bronzer. I absolutely love bronzer. I'm sorry about the lighting if it's not good in this video. So now I hired the ISO. I hope it's a bit brighter for you guys. I hope this is better than it was before. <laughs> what career would you like to be having in the future? And this is just like such a hard question because I'm meant to have it all figured out now. Like I need to choose what I want to do with my life. <laughs> in like the next year or so, or in the next two years, I don't know. But I would really love to pursue, pursue, I don't know if that's how you say it, in videography. So like film, filmmaking. But I don't know, I just, I'd really like to do it like on my own and do like artsy videos, but I don't know if that's an option. And I'd also like to be a photographer. I mean, I don't know, I'd love to like be doing YouTube as my full-time job, but I mean, I don't see that happening anytime soon. 
so I don't know it's really hard like that's the only thing I I would think that I would like to be because I don't like see any pleasure in being like I don't know being a dentist or being anything like that I don't know it's just not for me I wish it was though because oh. so yeah I hope that answered your question I don't know if it did what is your favorite tv show at the moment at the moment I've been watching a lot of Riverdale well actually I just got into it because I don't know if you guys remember but if you haven't met me on snapchat I asked you guys to to tell me video like series to watch a lot of you guys recommended Riverdale so that's what I've been watching and I think I'm on like episode seven or eight um and I'm actually liking it now in the beginning in the beginning I was a bit like what the hell this looks like they're vampires they're all gingers and kind of reminds me of Twilight but I'm getting into it now that I'm watching it like it's it's good and I haven't had like a series that I've been watching for a while now I guess since Scam ended and but now it's coming back again soon so I'm happy about that um so yeah Riverdale next thing I guess I'm gonna have to watch is 13 reasons why because everyone has been talking about that like it's all over my timeline I love this highlight it's by Makeup Geek I used it in my one of my recent videos and it's in Electrify. I really love it so much, it's vegan. So next thing I'm doing is I'm taking my Makeup Revolution palette and I'm just using this blush color here. Thoughts on the Stockholm attack and USA attacking Syria. Well, both of them are really sad and horrible and I hate Trump. I mean, I'm, I don't really know a lot about the USA attacking Syria because like all of my timeline since I live in Sweden has been of the Stockholm attack and it's horrible like I mean I don't know anyone that was involved or was there but a lot of like people walk on that street where the attack was like I've been on there like every time I go to Stockholm that's basically that's the main place to be and like Sarah's there loads of shops are there and it's just a miracle that only four people died like there could have been so many more lives lost but it's also really really sad that four people had to die because of a terrorist and that's so sad like there was a four-year what am I saying there was an 11 year old girl who got run over which was so sad like I mean obviously all of the deaths were sad but like a 12 year old girl she had whole of her life to look forward to and I'm just thinking of like the families that were affected by this is I can't imagine the sorrow that you go through after something like this happens in your hometown the reason why I have this background is because it was really not the best lighting in my room to film so I just wanted to film. So now I'm filming downstairs. Meow. Hey kitty. I'm also going to be applying some chapstick right now because I didn't do it in the beginning and I've got this really sore dry bit here which I've had for ages now and it won't go away. How are you dealing with choosing university for the next year? Not very good. I don't know if I'm going to choose next year because I think I'm going to go on a gap year. I'm just taking Taupe by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't know where I want to go, where I want to move to. I've been thinking of moving to Gothenburg, which is like the second largest city in Sweden. Then I'm also scared because it's so far away from home. Favorite clothes and tips on styling them together. Recently, I've been loving a lot of like comfortable flowy pants rather than jeans because I feel like jeans are so boring. Um, so I like to spice my outfit up with like some different trousers. I've been loving my new trousers from Sara that were in my recent haul. They're like quarter length, I guess. They go a little bit below the knee and they're black and you like tie them at the waist. I really love wearing that with like a body underneath or a t-shirt or like a blouse or anything really. And obviously my jean jacket as well. I've been loving my jean jacket because now it's spring. I've also been loving the striped trousers. I have like two pairs that I'm in love with. So. Someone asked how much is too much to pay for a clothing item. And honestly, it depend, de depends It depends on your budget. Like if you earn 100,000 every month, then obviously you can splurge on a, a designer bag. But for people like me that don't have that much money in a month, then it depends on it. If it's something that I've really been wanting, like a pair of jeans that I've really been wanting, then I can definitely splurge on a pair of like Topshot jeans that are expensive. But if it's something you're like iffy about, then it's no. So I don't know, there's no like exact amount of what's too much. I can just say I, I would not buy a top that costs more than like a thousand kroner, which is like a hundred pounds or like 90 pounds or something like that. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow and I'm going in with my 
favorite eyeshadow palette ever. I actually love the brush it came with, so that's what I'm gonna be using. Do you like Harry Potter? And if so, what house are you in? Sorry to disappoint you guys, but I actually, I have now seen all of the Harry Potter films, but I'm not like a Harry Potter fantast. I'm using Raw Sienna, by the way. So yeah, I'm really sorry about that. I do like Harry Potter, but I'm not like a huge Harry Potter fan. I'm sorry, Jordan, if you're watching this. Uh, she is a huge Harry Potter fan, so go check her channel out for some more, a bit more talk about Harry Potter. <laughs> This person said, also, do you think a size 8 slash 10 can style mum jeans well? Girl, what? I don't understand. It makes me so sad that people even ask that, like, what the fuck? All sizes can style mum jeans well. All si sizes can wear anything. Like, just wear what you feel comfortable in, no matter what size you are. Don't let anyone tell you you can't wear something just because of your size. Because that's, like... The most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Someone asked me how me and my boyfriend met. I don't know, I think we've answered this before, but we met at a Halloween party. We have been together in three years on November the 15th, which is quite a long time away. So almost like two and a half years. I'm taking red ochre and the same person asked me, is my hair naturally straight? And my hair is naturally like this. It used to be a bit wavy, but now since I cut it and it's just been like kind of straight and dead, which I mean, I'm not a fan of it. I used to want straight hair, but. So I'm taking red ochre and applying this to my outer half of my lid. <laughs> And I'm just taking some more of red ochre on my brush, concentrating this on the very outer corner and blending it all in. This look is kind of, is gonna be like kind of a messy look. Don't know if you can already tell, but I'm just like really blending these colors into each other. Do you have any advice for people with YouTube channels in school, like dealing with people making fun of it? I mean, I went through this a lot when I started my YouTube channel. I didn't want anyone to know about it, but honestly, if you're just open with it, People shouldn't make fun of you. I feel like people only make fun of you because they want a reaction. But if you're actually like talking about your YouTube channel yourself, or if you don't, if you just like don't react when they start talking about it with you, then I feel like they'll stop because the people that like bully you for your channel, they just want you to react when they do that. And if you stop reacting, then they won't find it as fun. So just stop reacting. And also when you get like, I have noticed this because when you get like a following, people stop doing it and they start thinking it's cool instead. But it's just, just like kind of weird, but it's how it is. So now I just mixed raw sienna and burnt orange and I'm applying it to my lower lash line. And on my inner half, I used Vermeer, which is a champagne -y color. Thoughts on veganism, and if you could spend a day with any celebrity, who would it be and why? So, veganism is great, and anyone who doesn't understand that, just go watch Cowspiracy and do your research, and come back later. Mate, no, but seriously, I've had enough of people being like, you're destroying the trees. Like, oh my god, do your research. Sorry if I seem like really fed up, but it's just like, people who say that veganism is bad, Bad for you, bad for everything. They haven't done their research. Simple as that. And I'm not here to like start up a fight with anything, anyone. I'm just like, you know, veganism is amazing. It's saving the planet, saving the animals, and it's good for your body. And it's what's ethically right. And I'm not a vegan yet, but I am a vegetarian. But when I move, I might want to become vegan. I still live at home with my parents and stuff like that. You know, it's just a lot e easier if I stay vegetarian for now. And if I could spend the day with any celebrity, I don't really know. Like, I'd love to spend the day with young Leonardo DiCaprio. I would love to spend the day with Lana Del Rey. Oh my God, she's an absolute babe. I'm gonna be doing faux freckles. Where I want to travel is, I might go to Thailand this year. I'm not sure, it depends on how much me and my boyfriend can like, and up and how i'm doing i'm doing really good i've just been a bit stressed recently with youtube just because i need to get so many videos up and i have quite a lot of videos filmed but i just have no time to edit and it takes quite a while to edit videos because my videos normally turn out like 40 minutes and i have to cut them down to like 10 minutes so it takes quite a bit of time and i have so many videos i want to film as well but i don't get the time but now i'm on spring break so i'm trying to film quite a lot what I want to do with my life is travel, be happy, just experience the world before I get kids and like settle in anywhere. 
I don't know what I want to be. I would love to be freelancing, is that how you say it? On like videography, film or photography or both. Or I'd love to have my YouTube channel go so well that I can live off it, which would be amazing. Netflix show recommendations. I don't, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm gonna do the dots. So the only Netflix shows I've seen are that, that scary one with the little boy, what's it called? And then Riverdale. I kind of need a finer brush for this, guys. <gasps> oh my god. So now I'm going in with my beauty blender to just like thin out this product. Any travel slash summer plans? No, not really. Other than I want to go to England this summer and meet up with my friend Megan because we haven't seen in like years. Also work. I have... I've finished my job at the restaurant. Well, I'm finishing it this month, April. Just because of pay and stuff like that, I kind of want to move on and get a little bit better pay. So now I'm going to work in a kitchen this summer for three weeks. So now I'm going to be doing my lipstick. Who are my favourite YouTubers to watch? My favourite YouTubers are probably Sasha Richardson, Summer McKean, Sienna Mirabella, the Sacconi Jolies, I watch them all the time. I love them so much. I love the lineup, but definitely Sacconi Jolies, I watch them every day. Their little baby is so cute. If you don't know who they are, they're like, um, daily vloggers who come from Ireland, but they live in London, I think uh, Or in England anyway, and they vlog every day and they have two little kids and one newborn Can't believe I forgot Olivia Jade. I love Olivia Jade so much She's amazing and gorgeous. Milani lip cream So I think that this is going to be the finished look and I think I replied to almost all of your guys' comments. Someone asked me, do you have something you're passionate about? Passionate about? And yes I do, it's YouTube for those of you who didn't know that. I'm really passionate about YouTube editing and filming videos for you guys and just like the response I get from you is amazing. So that's my passion in life. And someone asked me who would I want to collaborate with if I could. I would definitely love to collaborate collaborate with Olivia Jade or Bianca8198. I love her so much. So yeah, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope it wasn't like too rambly and too all over the place and I hope I could answer your guys' questions and that you know a little bit more about me now. If not, I might do a Q&A soon. If I get enough questions down below, I can do a Q&A. And yeah, I do love you guys so, so much with all my heart. And don't forget to check out Jordan's video after this. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already. I love you all. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I hate my hair. I want to pull it out. Oh my god, this makeup is such a mess. I'm really sorry, guys.